Aha! Mm, Jaya! <laughs> hey, the topic for this video is... Uh, Fuck the stories. Fuck the stories! <laughs> what are stories? What, uh, what are we talking about? Why... Them. <laughs> <laughs> and why fuck them well in relationships but also just in life we are more than we even know we are living in these stories that play out in our mind about who we are who other people are how life works how relationships work and so often we are viewing the world through these stories that say this is how it turns out this is how it happens and um, before we catch ourselves in those stories we start we continue to kind of play out a life that fits into these stories so what I found in relating with you is that I've had to come up against a lot of the stories that I carry in my system and realize that a lot of them are not true not true, yeah. They are like old programs, right? Programs, stuff yes. Stuff from past relationships yes. or conditioning and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. So a lot of the stories that I carry are, I think that actually they're really, many, many women carry them. It's a lot of like collective wounding of the feminine, but stories of like, I'm going to be abandoned. And it's not like I actually am saying to myself, I'm going to be abandoned, but I almost carry like a frequency an energy frequency that believes that story that I'm going to be abandoned or that I'm going to be betrayed, that I'm going to get hurt. I'm going to be left. I'm going to be deceived. So many different, different energy qualities that show up in the context of relating with a man. And so what I've done in our relationship is when those energies come up, when those fears come up, I have an opportunity to look at them and be like, wait a minute, is this really, really the truth? Or is ju this just a pattern, a program that I've been carrying with me for my whole life. And part of how you'll know it's a program is if you feel it over and over again, then it means it's a story. It's a story that you're carrying. Mm. And I think part of the reason that we enter into intimate relationship is for those stories, that conditioning to come to the surface. So then we can call it out and be like, oh my gosh, this is not the ultimate truth about me. This is just a program that This I'm... is just a program, yeah. yeah. What's really surprising for me to, uh, you know, for instance, when I was seeing Shelly entering into a story, mm. it's like, because I'm a different, in a different story, for instance, I care, right? I'm not going to abandon you. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not in my program, it's not in my desire. And uh, so we meet after a week and we enter into some form of dissonance. And then I hear about her story and I go like, this is crazy because I'm actually completely different than uh, than the the person the guy she was imagining in in me and so um in the um, in the process of revealing all that it's like yeah. breaking down the patterns and and creating a new mindset new conditioning and uh, very often what's interesting is that this conditioning and these stories are being sustained by uh, social networks, by uh, pop culture, you know, by uh, the songs, by there is a whole like um, frequency that we can tap into, which which tells a certain story. For instance, about relationships, but about yes. life also, victimization, about the fact that we are being abandoned, or the fact that God doesn't love us, or you know, like all sorts of stories concerning how we relate to each other and how we relate to ourselves, and uh, you know, breaking down these patterns and then creating new mindsets, new empowering beliefs. And when it comes to, to relationships and conscious relating, we are talking about designing really new codes, mm -hmm. you know, new codes of relating, yes. like this man loves me, yeah. this woman loves me, you know, and, and reaffirming the, the, the codes that are going to be empowering for, yeah. for, for each other. Yeah. yeah, it's not an easy thing to do to come up against your stories. But again, like if it's if there's a particular energy or a particular story of vibration that you continue to feel in relationships, it means you have some sort of kind of what the way I think about it, it's almost like an embedded energy or an embedded um, conditioning that needs to be looked at. And and eventually, if you look at it enough, you can overturn it you can let it go and be like this isn't this is just this thing that i believe and i don't have to believe this mm -hmm. like i can believe something else 
I can let go of this belief. And when we start letting go of these old beliefs that are ruling our life, then your reality starts to change. Because when you let go of all the fear that is keeping you small and contracted, then you start to live and be in your expanded self. And so that's what we're all looking for. But part of the process is actually confronting the stories, confronting them as they come up. So look at them and look at them really closely and be like, is this true? Is this really true? Is this true or not? Um, The way I, you know, the way I, um, I design it or the way uh, the model that I have around that is that I call that uh, conscious mind design and conscious thought design, mm-hmm. you know, and the idea is really that you can, you can create the reality mm-hmm. that you want to have in, inside of you. You can design what, what you're going to attract. And uh, also the, the idea that the story is not just a thought, it's a, it's a multidimensional experience. It's like it's a combination of <clears throat> emotions, feelings. Sometimes you get hit by the story or you get hit by this energy or by this program. It's going to create a set of emotions and feelings and thoughts. And so it's a, it's a multidimensional experience. It's not just a, a thought pattern. Yeah. And so when you, are, when you are tackling that, you're rebuilding uh, you know, patterns, mindsets and beliefs from a very different, different place mm-hmm. and seeing what, what those mindsets are going, to, are going to be. Another way of calling it is really calling, I call that the inner games. Mm-hmm. You know, the inner game, so mastering your inner game means being able to, to, to bring your mind to function in a, from a place of harmony and power yeah. and have stories and uh, patterns and programs that act- actually work for you rather than, yeah. than against you. Yeah, definitely. And then I, for myself on my own path, like eventually it's letting go of all story altogether. Like any, any story, good or bad, just like letting go and surrendering to the only thing that is true. Beautiful. Yeah. Hope this helps you. We love you. Bye. (laughs)